Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing the Not Too Shabby Deck the Halls kit which is the October box of the month. I hope you'll stick around and see all of the goodies inside. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. On the first of the month, Not Too Shabby released a new box of the month called Deck the Halls, and it has a winter kind of Christmassy theme to it. Now, because I won't be back until later in the month to share samples using it, I did want to stop by and share with you a look at everything that's inside. Now, if you watched Craft Roulette over the weekend, I did mention that I thought this was going to sell out quickly. And guess what? The box itself is sold out, but there are a few of these items that you're going to see today that you can still pick up. So even though I'm going to show you everything and you can't get it as a set, this is also just to show you how each month these kits are so cute and you might just want to go ahead and get on that subscription list. If you do want to give a not too shabby kit a try, I have a link in the description box below. You can sign up and just receive a single kit and there's still a discount on all the products together. Or you can sign up to receive it monthly and you get a little bit more of a discount. So I hope that you enjoy what you see today and that you'll consider giving it a try. Now after I show you everything in it, then at the end of the video I'll let you know currently which stamps and papers you can still get. And then I also have some information about a giveaway that you could win some not too shabby goodies for yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kit. Included in this month's kit were two 6x6 paper pads, two packages of ephemera, three 4x6 stamp sets, and some coordinating sequins. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at each one of the pieces, and then I'll tell you about that giveaway. First up is the Not Too Shabby Merry Mugs Clear Stamp Set. This comes with some adorable mugs here with hats, and more of a plain one that you can dress up. There are also a few coordinating sentiments and little images. The second stamp set is Gingerbread Kisses and it comes with four cute little gingerbread people and some kind of big bold sentiments that go with those. And the final stamp set in the kit is Ornamental Christmas. And you get this ornament down here that's blank and you can either place some of the images in there or the words. Or heck, I might even paper piece this so I can have the ornament be whatever color or pattern I want. I really love this one, especially the fonts that you can put onto the ornament. The first paper pad I'm going to share is the Gnome Sweet Gnome and it has a kind of winter holiday theme but what I think is so fun and unique is the color scheme, how it's a red, white, and blue. I don't think I've ever seen that before. In this pad you have some faux glitter look paper, you have some text background, some textile backgrounds, and even some beautiful scenes.
The second paper pad is called Gingerbread Kisses and it kind of goes with that gingerbread stamp set. And what I love about this paper pad are the fun colors, again, kind of unique for Christmas or holiday papers. And you also have just great coordinating basic patterns to go with those. Just like with the other paper pad, there are 24 double-sided pieces in here, four of each of the designs. And finally are more of the embellishments that came with the kit. You have the sequins, which have colors that would match both of the collections, and the packages of ephemera. Their ephemera packages are always chock full of coordinating images that go with the papers and stamps that you get. And once again, loving the color scheme on the Gnome Suite Gnome one. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at what's in each of these. I hope you enjoyed getting to see that full kit up close. I'm sorry if you haven't already snagged one, but I did want to show you everything just so that you're ready to get next month's before it sells out. Again, the link to purchase it, either a single or a subscription, is in the description box below. Now the items in front of me are the items that are currently still available as single items from the kit. Now I think this could change quickly. So if you want to get any of these, I would head over there now. I have a discount code in the description box below that you can use to get 10% off these items. The stamp set still available are Gingerbread Kisses and Merry Mugs. And both of the paper pads from the kit are still available. The Gingerbread Kisses and Gnome Sweet Gnome. And now, as I promised in the beginning of the video, I'm going to tell you about a giveaway where you could possibly win some money to spend it not too shabby. Each month when the new kit comes out, there is a video hop with a giveaway. And if you're watching this video before October 7th, 2021, there is still time to hop along and be entered to win. I will link the not too shabby video in the description box below and not only will Jamie have some wonderful samples to show you using the kit but she'll tell you how you can hop along using the hashtag and be entered to win a $25 gift certificate to not too shabby. I definitely hope you'll go do that and get lots more inspiration from the kit. Like I said I will be back at the end of the month with some of my own. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.